This is a new state, I try to get right This is a new state, I get on track Yeah, that's life in football This is a new state, I live your life This is a new state, I try to get right This is a new state, I get on track Yeah, that's life in football It's life in football We are life in football You are now listening to the Life in Football podcast. Check out the new website, lifeinfootball.com. Welcome to the Life in Football podcast, baby. I'm your host, Mike Fee. And this your coach, Colin Moore. You know we love a life and enjoying football. Top-notch coaches all around the world. Top, top-notch coaches all around the world. Today, we got Russell Ellington on, and he's the head coach for the Monroe Bobcats in Quincy. And well, they almost pretty much in midway now, almost. But there's a private school coming out of Quincy, Florida. And the changes they have made and the players he got on his team today are second to none. They running some top notch ball, small school, but they playing big time uh, school with big time players. Believe it or not, um, they played another school in the area named Leon. That's a bigger high school and they beat them. And this speaks a lot to what the coach is doing. He's helping the guys in their lives. He's helping them in football. And he's doing a great job over there, man. I wish I had a billion dollars, man. I'd give him a nice stadium over there because this is a program that a lot more people need to know about. They're in the Big Bend area. And they got one of the top athletes in the country. I think he just committed to Oklahoma last name, Vickers. And, um... I got to give a shout out to Coach and the whole staff over there, man, because they're doing a great job. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and let Simo bring him on. How you doing, Coach? I'm doing good. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for having me. Good, man. Hey, Coach, you, right before you came on, you just told me how you bringing cameraman out to your school. I love that. Because if I'm a player, I want to, I already know I want to shine. It ain't that I'm trying to shine for Instagram and Twitter, but I sort of am. Yes, yes, I'm yes, also yes. trying to shine because I want the scouts to see me. And for you, the brain, the cameraman to the school, I love it. Like, what made you think to go that route? Because a lot of coaches, no, nah, I'm about my business. We about this. Don't worry about that. No, nah, you about the business and you bringing the lights to come see me. Yes, sir. So, so the, behind that, man, when I took the job in January, the main thing I wanted to do was uh, get the kids something that I always wanted. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end of the day, it's about, yeah, winning football games, right. but it's about getting them to that next level. Right. Um, and I told every player when I took a job, if we lose every single game, but every senior sign, that mean everything to me. So, right. um, and I'm just trying to follow that model. Like you said, you get the cameraman there, you get more footage, you get more uh, yeah. opportunity for the colleges. And like you said, just make the kids feel like I'm trying to put right. them out there. And that's all I'm trying to do. Man, just that right there, I know they love you. I know they probably be coming up to you. Coach, man, let me tell you how I'm doing in this class. They probably want to work better in the classroom and at practice just because of the love you showing them. Like, do you feel that coming already? Or? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. So uh, just to piggyback off that, um, when we took the job, the first thing they said was, you know, you're bringing in all these athletes. Uh, you got to make sure academics and all that mm -hmm. thing is on point. Well, right now, I think we got the largest team in Monroe history. We got about 56 players. Right. Um, I think the lowest GPA on the team, we only had two kids under 3.0. Yes. Um, so. The lowest GPA, I think, is a 2.6, and that's rising. And that's so, still Yeah, and that's yeah, rising. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We, 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 we're going to make sure, and like I said, like you said, it's, it's life fact about it, make sure they have food at mm -hmm. school. Um, if you know a kid don't have lunch, they don't they don't need to put it in the group chat, not just talk right. to us. We're making sure they fed. Um again, we we just trying to build something in the community to where uh, yeah, yeah we're just trying to build something to where the kids know that they do have a home outside of a home and right. yeah, we trying to be that father figure for them. Now coach, I gotta um learn some more about you man because you talking about the team and the stuff you doing for them, but I want to know who helped you become the person that you are today. Kind of talk about your family, your upbringing, like where you from yes, and things of that nature. Yes, sir. So I'm from Savannah, Georgia. Um, uh, born and raised. Uh, my granddad, Russell, I'm the fourth. Uh, my granddad, Russell Ellington, he's in the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame for coaching. Um, and as a little kid, really, that's all I wanted to do. Uh, my yeah. dad used to take me to the games. I used to run to the end of the bench, uh, you know, just, just run to the first one in the locker room yeah. and see what he's saying, you know. Uh, uh, but more on top of that, though, I saw him 
bring his players home. You know what I'm saying? Make sure he take care of them. And, and I saw how they reciprocated that love back to him, you know, as, as they got older and did things they need. So that's something I always wanted to do. Um, Coming to the area, Coach Salters, um, down at, at Monroe, our basketball coach, mm -hmm. he was huge on um, bringing me to the area. Um, I, I didn't know what Quincy was three, yeah, four yeah, years ago. Yeah. You know, I'm South Georgia I boy. Yeah, video. South Georgia yeah. boy. I didn't know. Um, he just said, come check it out. Came down, check it out. Got the vision from the principal about, you know, what it could be. Um, and I, I like, man, I want to be part yeah. of that. You know, yeah. I just want to be a part yeah. of that. You know? yeah. And the administration, man, they've been, They've been supportive. I know. I know what the school was before. You know, it was a private school that wasn't kind of open to, you know, our people and stuff like that. Um, but now we look at the school. We're about 65, 70 percent minority. Um, the, the 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 education is still through the roof. Um, now athletics are going through the roof. Uh, it, it, it's a good thing to be a part of. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a. And you're right, man. Just growing up. Um, Monroe will have like a small team and for you to say, you know, that y'all got a lot of players, like almost 50 players out there. That's amazing to me. And uh, I just love the things that I'm seeing and I'm hearing. And I want to know from you for us, what's your, what's your philosophy, philosophy to the players? And if somebody wanted to be a part of your team, how would they go about doing that as well? Okay, so uh, I'm going to start with being a part of the team. If you wanted to be a part of the team, all uh, you got to do is apply to Monroe. Um, Monroe Day School, it's a, a small application fee. Um, you turn in your transcripts and everything. They set you up for testing. The testing is not to see if you can get in. It's to see uh, placing you in the right class, placing you in the right grade. So um, you do that. We accept everybody, so we don't we don't turn not one player away. This year, last year we had about thirty some kids, so we only had about forty helmets. We got this influx of kids this year. Had to rush and try to order helmets up because I'm not gonna tell a kid that wants to play you can't play football. You know now whether you starting this year or not or whether you on JV or not. That's one thing, but I'm not just gonna tell you you can't play. So right. we trying to make a way for all of them. Um, and at the end of the day, we not the only good program in the county, you got gas in county. Uh, and what we're trying to do is just add another element to the county to where that's not the end all be all. No, there's another option that you can come um, and everything don't fit everybody, you know? So this might be a fit for you, that might be a fit for you. But if you want to be a part of it, we definitely want you to be a part of it. Right, right. And coach, now you got to let them know like what your background in playing okay, too, like, yes, you know, kind of. Yes, um, and what led you up to coaching? Like, where well, you played your high school ball, your college ball, and kind of the things that initiated you from your playing days to your coaching days. Yes, sir. So in high school, I was an all-state wide receiver and quarterback um, at Homewood Flossmo High School. Um, I played uh, college ball at Illinois for Coach Ron Zook. Um, and to be honest with you, that's another reason why I started coaching because, like I tell my players, I lead by example now because I wasn't always uh, on that straight and narrow path, you know. So, like, I try to tell them, I give y'all what I wish somebody would have gave me, sat me down and said, hey, man, this ain't the way to go. You know, chill out. You messing up your future. So, um, a lot of the blunders that I had that stopped me from making it to that next level, I'm just trying to pour it into them. Um, and it, it meant a lot to me because I talked to Coach Zook about when I took the job, I think it was about in February. And man, he was about to cry on the phone. He was like, man, Russ, I can't believe you're a yeah, coach. Yeah. And, and you know, all of the old players I played with and right. uh, that's coaching college ball now. And Coach Loxley, who head coach at Maryland, who's my recruiting coordinator, they just, they're like, man, I just can't believe it. But if anybody can do it, you know, you're the one that reach them kids. Cause I, I wasn't always. Uh, yeah, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna give them the real. Yeah, I'm gonna give them the real. Yeah, I'm gonna give them the real. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The real. Like, uh, at the end of the day, like I said, we're just trying to make young men. That, that, that's what we're trying to do first and foremost. Right. And I want to thank you again, Coach, for coming on. This has been an amazing episode. You gave your journey. And what I what I love about what you were saying as far as your journey is everything almost come full circle, if y'all notice, when he was just talking about his coaches he played for in college, he contacted them and let them know, hey, I'm not now about to be a head coach. So that's why it's so important when you're young, you be respectful, you treat people how you want to be treated and better, not just, you know, having respect. But a lot of times 
things go a long way when you do small things right. And a lot of people notice things that you may not know. And Coach Hill, he a, a proven factor of doing things now for your future. Because the things he was doing at Illinois, he didn't know or probably realize it would come back later on. So, you know, I just want to thank him again for everything he's doing at Monroe. And they got an amazing football team over there in Quincy, Florida, Monroe. Baby, they doing their thing, man. And when you see that red and black, just know it's game on. It's game on. Yeah. And them boys handling business. And I'm going to leave y'all how I always leave y'all. Keep your head up. And not down, I guess you will fall to the ground. This is the Life and Football Podcast. Catch you next time. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life and football. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life and football. It's life and football. We are life and football.